Hi everyone, let's talk, not makeup, skincare. So, I've been trying out skincare items from both NYX and e.l.f., which are brands that are typically associated with makeup, but not that long ago, both of them launched skincare lines. And so I wanted to share with you my thoughts on both lines and kind of what I like and don't like, what my experience overall has been with some of these products. Now, I obviously haven't tried everything from these two lines. I've only, I picked out things that I needed in my routine or things that I liked. So I'll start off first by showing you what I have and then I'll, I'll go into reviews of them. So I'll start off with NYX. Uh, from NYX, I got their micellar water. And as you can tell on here, I've used it all up. So I'll have a full review of that. I also have the cleansing oil and the cleansing balm. Right, because I really love cleansing oils and balms, and so these were the main things that I was attracted to from the NYX line. Now from the e.l.f. line, they have like a little kit with three items, and so that's one of the things that I picked up. And the kit came with the daily face um, cleanser, and an illuminating eye cream, and a daily hydration moisturizer. Right. Now, I've already finished up the moisturizer, and so I can give you a full review on that. I am just about done with the cleanser and with the eye cream, so I'll, I'll give full review to that. And then finally, I also have the Gentle Peeling Exfoliant. Now, this is the only thing that I have here today that I have not used already. So, um, I just want to let you all know that I do have this and I'm planning on trying it out and giving a review of it. So, first off, NYX versus ELF. I think if you're definitely interested in skincare and especially in inexpensive skincare, you should try things that you want from uh, both these lines, but hopefully I can steer you clear of certain things. Uh, so, I do want to point out, um, like, give you a little info on my skin. I have very oily skin, very, very oily skin where I need like full coverage matte foundations in order for um, them to hold up throughout the day. Otherwise my oils peak, peak out, right? But there are certain skincare items that can help keep the oil at bay. So the number one thing for those of us with oily skin is moisturization, moisturizing. Um, I also used to be really scared of using oils on my face, but then what I learned was that oils are actually really great on my oily skin. My skin loves oils and it loves absorbing them and kind of the hydration and nutrition that I can give my skin. So, <laughs> which set do I like better? I have to be honest, there is a clear winner in my book. I have had much better luck with the e.l.f. skincare line. Uh, one thing that I really, really loved was the Daily Hydration Moisturizer. This thing is great. Now, like I said, I need moisture in my face. That's what oily, that's why those of us with oily skin need moisture, uh, need hydration. Is because our skin overproduces oil when it's dried out. So, this originally, the first one I purchased came in the kit. And so this is actually my second tube of the hydration uh, moisturizer so I haven't opened it yet and um, I went to an elf boutique and found out that they actually have their moisturizer with SPF so for those of you interested in SPF in your moisturizer this is a good one to try now it's a lightweight moisturizer I'm gonna pump it out here so you can see oh there we go so it's a lightweight moisturizer but it does give you enough hydration. I found that it gave me nice hydration and made my skin feel soft. And as I'm rubbing it into my hand here, I feel it. I feel it soft, hydrated, and it's very quickly absorbing into my skin. So I really like it. And so I use this moisturizer both day and night. And I found that I didn't need an extra moisturizer. Though a lot of times I do prefer using a light moisturizer for the day, kind of a heavier one at night. And I just didn't feel the need to with this one. I thought the gift was perfect for both day and night. So uh, the other thing that I've really been loving is this daily face cleanser. I use it every night. Um, I 
prefer taking showers at night and so when I take a shower I use this and I exfoliate this has been working really well I mean the main thing I need a cleanser to do is literally clean my face and so I always feel like this does leave my face uh, cleansed without being too harsh because I do have slightly sensitive skin but still gets the job done so I've really been enjoying that now the one fail for me from the elf line or at least what I've tried of the elf line is this eye illuminating eye cream it's just and I've used up quite a bit of it this was filled to the rim and hopefully you'll be able to see that I have used quite a bit I am in fact I'm running low on this and have purchased a few new things but I my eyes my under eyes I have well, I have really dark under eye circles and I get pigmentation in my under eye and so I'm very picky about what eye creams I used I in fact there's only one eye cream thus far that has actually worked to reduce the under eye circles and keep my under eye hydrated and kind of looking fresh and that is the which is this oh, it's the algenist eye cream um, I haven't purchased it in quite a while because it is pricey this one's a lot cheaper but it doesn't work for me so in that case when something doesn't work for me it just doesn't work it doesn't even matter if it's high-end drugstore if it doesn't work it doesn't work right? if it works it works if it's inexpensive all the better so moving on to NYX um, I, my experience with NYX was actually the opposite I was really excited about the NYX skincare line but I haven't had good luck with it I just haven't um, so really quickly on some of the things that I have purchased from them uh, first off the micellar water I'll start with that because as you saw I've used it all up in fact it's an empty I'm just waiting to take a picture of this post it on Instagram and um, do a review so I like micellar water I started off using the bioderma micellar water and that is my like holy grail that is the micellar water that I hold all other micellar waters up to um, I tried the Garnier the Garnier was pretty close to the to the bioderma very very close and in fact if you're not cruelty free and don't aren't afraid of the kind of chemicals that are in these things then I would I would recommend that one I, I used the like pinky reddish one but um so I prefer products that are cruelty free and so I really wanted to try this and I really wanted to love it so that I could just ditch everything else and get you know just use this turns out no this has actually been the my least favorite micellar water it's just it does get I use and okay the way I use micellar water is I will get a cotton round and drench it in the micellar water and then put it over my eye I hold it over my eye tap it a little and then gently swipe with the bioderma that is no problem it gets like 99% of my eye makeup off um, it'll sometimes take a little bit more work with waterproof mascara but typically I have no problem with the Garnier micellar water I got a very similar experience with it with this though it was much harder to remove my eye makeup with this one I have to really drench the cotton round in the micellar water and so I felt like I was using a ton of product every single time and yeah this is inexpensive but you know I want it to last I want to feel like you know I'm getting my money's worth and I just felt like I was using up a ton of product really quickly and it wasn't getting all my eye makeup off right it wasn't where it has some problems it's with mascara and I don't typically use waterproof mascara and this was still having trouble taking it all off so it was just a big no for me unfortunately and now I have I recently bought a ton of different micellar waters from different cruelty free companies to try because I will find a cruelty free micellar water all right so next fail from NYX was the cleansing balm stripped off bone nettoyant I do speak French so I am pretty sure I said that correctly so this is just it's a cleansing balm and you can see hopefully here that I've used a lot a lot of this product so it's not like I've only tried it a few times and then didn't like it no I gave this a really fair shot and I will I will be finishing it but it's just 
not not as good as other as other cleansing balms that I've tried. So my holy grail cleansing balm that I hold all other cleansing balms up to is the Clinique. It's a Clinique balm. And again, the problem with that one is that it's not cruelty free. It works really great. If you don't care about cruelty free, I would recommend that one. But I wanted to find something that was cruelty free. And I thought, I really wanted NYX to work out because they they literally came out with a full array of skincare lines and a lot of it are were products that I'm really attracted to, things that I like using in my routine. Um, this cleansing balm though was a big no. The way I use the cleansing balms is I, I remove my face makeup with a wipe, with makeup removing wipe. And then I go in with a cleansing balm to really take everything off because Skincare is really important to me and I don't want to leave a whole bunch of makeup on my skin because I will clog pores and it'll make my skin um, less, it'll affect my skin negatively. So I wipe off an initial layer of makeup with the wipes and then I would go in with this one. And the problem with it is if you use too much of it, it will leave your skin super oily. Now there's a fine line between moisturized and oily and this balm just crosses it for me. Now there is a way to use just a tiny bit of it and for your face to not feel oily. But it, it just, you know, at the end of the night you just want to remove your makeup quickly and I don't have to worry about, you know, using the specific right amount of balm in order to remove my makeup. Now this doesn't mean that I won't continue to use this because I will finish this one. The way I plan on using it up is to put, you know, remove, wipe my face and then put the cleansing bulb on my skin and then hop in the shower. That seems to work really great because then the pressure from my shower helps me remove every last bit of this and it leaves my skin not, not as sorely as it does if I'm not using like pressurized water. Um, it's silly that I have to do that though. And so I am going to be trying a few other cleansing balms. And finally, I didn't want to be, you know, a downer for this entire review. I did finally find one product from the NYX line that I really, really like. And that is the cleansing oil stripped off. And this, let me see if I can give you a good shot of it. This guy, I've just, I really enjoyed. I love cleansing oils because they work very effectively to remove makeup and, uh, and my skin likes oils. My skin just simply likes oils. So um, when I tried this, I wasn't expecting very much because I had already tried the cleansing balm, I tried the micellar water, and I was kind of dreading trying the cleansing oil but it worked really nicely. I put um, two pumps in my hand, um, spread it all over my face, and then wash. Just wash with my hands. That's all I do. And it removes all whatever makeup is left over and it leaves my skin feeling clean, uh, feeling a little bit hydrated, and not greasy. This does not make my skin feel greasy at all. So I've had a really good experience with it. I've also used it with the Foreo. Um, little thing and it works really well with that as well and so I've just I haven't found anything negative about this and I also because I'm only using two pumps I feel like I've used this quite a bit and I'm not draining the product I don't feel like it's using it up quickly the way um, I felt with the micellar water so this was a much better experience so I believe that is it. If you have any questions on any of these products, leave them down below. Like I said, I did buy, purchase one more thing from the e.l.f. line, uh, but I haven't tried it out. So I'll be doing a review of this one in the future. Uh, but yeah, so I'm not like a big skincare person. I'm not super knowledgeable on all this stuff, but I know what works on my skin and what doesn't, right? And so hopefully my experience with some of these products can steer you towards things you might want to try, things that might work for you or might not work for you. Now, if you have dry or uh, normal skin, you will probably have different experiences with these products. And that's where, you know, you just need to do your own research and look up other people's. But hopefully um, this can get you started looking for the things. So that is it for me. I will see you in the next one. Have a good day.